Hey guys and welcome back. A super quick tutorial today to see how to dynamically name your dashboards or your graphs. Well, um, I have something called, I have my filter here, which is product. And then I have, well, a graph which shows me year on year sales. So what do we want to see? Well, when I've not made any selections in my field product, it shows me sales for all products. But the moment I make a selection, it says, the sale, it shows me the sales for the products that I've selected. So it automatically brings in the name of the products that I've made selections for. So we know that what the sales numbers are showing. It's showing me the sales for the selected products. And what are the selected products? Well, you can just look at it here. Yeah, that's what we'll learn. So how do we do that? Well, we have something called get field selections. What does get field selections do? I say, hey, get me the field selections for the field product. So essentially what that does is whenever I make a selection, so whatever I've selected, it brings in the value. That's get field selections. So we can add that in our title here, right? So I'm going to go into my title and over here, where are you title? There you are. And over here I say sales per year, get field selections for the field, well, my field that I want to bring the values is product, right? But this won't work because I need to concatenate since this is a title. So I say sales per year, this is the string and the rest of the string is an and get field selections. So essentially when a user makes a selection in the field product, click gets the selections that is made and it concatenates it into my title here. So sales per year, Let's give a space and whatever selection the user has made. So this should essentially give us what we want. So I say done. Right now, nothing is selected. Now, let me select one. And it says sales per year for chocolate or drink. What if I have two? Well, it shows sales per year for chocolate or drink and cold brew latte. So now it makes our title a little more clearer on what we want and uh, gives the user a little more clarity right on what they're looking at what is the sales that they're looking at which products have they selected so um, i think it's really nice it enhances your dashboard skills now you could let's go one step ahead so how do we we could say we could go into this and we could say if So we have something called get selected count. So if the user has not made any selections, then we want it to say sales per year for all products. But otherwise, we only want to bring in the products that the user has selected. So how do we do that? So let's say just like get field selections, we have something called get selected count. So we say if get selected count for the field, what is the field? Well, my field is product, right? So if the user has made any selections, then the get selected count will be the number of selections that the user has made. So it won't be zero. So if the user has not made any selection, then the get selected count would be zero. So if get selected count for product is greater than zero, then sales per year and whatever field selections the user has made. Otherwise, a comma. Otherwise, I wanted to type sales for all products right and let's close and close the bracket sorry i need a comma here yes so what are we saying we are saying if get selected count for the product is greater than zero that means the user has made any made some selection in the field product so the get selected count is greater than zero then make the title sales per year and concatenate it with this field selections that the user has made just like we saw earlier but if not that is if the get selected count is equal to zero so then just put the name as sales for all products now let's click on apply and now you see that no selection has been made so it says sales for all products the moment i make a selection it says sales per year for creamy oat 
refresh now i put one more and it shows me whatever the sales for the products that is selected yeah i think it's super interesting and it gives you um, a good little view on how things are going just a little dashboard magic to elevate your click game hope you liked it please leave a like i really really appreciate it and you know what sign up for my course below um, it's going to be out really soon and since you guys are my super fans you'll get a good discount and i really really hope you learn a lot in that so look for the link in the description below and i'll see you in the next one peace